Yeah, this is Saturday, uh, April 2nd. <clears throat> Up here working on the new torque tube on my uh, uh, heavy duty gooseneck trailer. This is where I welded in the new one. I'm still not done welding. I gotta get the backside doing a three pass weld. I cut out the damaged one. Maybe you can see it over here. Uh, from the factory, it was not completely welded. They stopped here to here on the back side because that's where it got into the big C channel instead of stepping it over just a little bit. So this is a what I call a torque tube to keep the uh, gooseneck assembly from twisting. Okay, so this is what I cut out. This trailer has been wrecked and uh, damaged the lower tube and what I put in was a uh, two and a half inch schedule 40 what I cut out is barely it's probably schedule 20 real light duty stuff about twice the thickness of conduit uh, there you go, you got a better view. Had a real light duty uh, torque tube. I'm sure the upper one that's not damaged is the same thin material, but I'm not gonna fool with it. <clears throat> it wasn't completely difficult to get out. Put my little uh, 30 year old cracker box on a bottle cart to wheel it out here ACDC that's my little uh, tote a torch a little miniature bottle kit which is fine what I'm doing you don't have a lot of time on these things but I didn't want to drag uh, my plasma cutter out here you really didn't see the need I'm gonna try to get a grinder up in this area and see if I can't grind down that little bit that's left before I finish my welds that's in there this torque tube up here is no damage to it no cracked welds so looks like something slammed into this lower when when they wrecked the trailer but so I got such a deal on it it you know it'd be an expensive repair if you took it to a welding shop and that's probably why it never got fixed so, got that done. And I was fooling around in one of my other buildings. I have uh, something in here. This little job box here. I know this thing, I probably bought it between 35 and 40 years ago. I'm always scrambling for deals, and uh, I remember where I got it. It's over between Dallas and Fort Worth. It's a knack job box, no inner shelves, just a box, lockable. And if I gave twenty dollars for it, I'd be shocked. And so, what I'm doing is putting all my power tools inside this box, keep the dirt daubers from building nests inside the motors. I grabbed a saw the other day, no drill. I grabbed a drill the other day. And they started building a nest in the motor. I had to clean that out. And inside this box, again, I've been in that other 